Does a Nazi gold train really exist? Hello, hello, beautiful, wonderful, wacky people. My name is Charlotte, and you guys are watching Inform Overload. So, in case you guys are just finding out, for years and years there have been rumors that a Nazi treasure train filled with treasure and armaments disappeared in Poland at the end of World War II. Historians claim that the train went missing in May of 1945, and the existence of the train has never been conclusively proven. There have been decades of searches conducted with no luck in finding the price. Train. And many historians came to the conclusion that a Nazi gold train just doesn't exist. The legend is kept alive in southwestern Poland as many think the train disappeared in a tunnel as the Germans were escaping the advancing Soviet army. The tunnels that the train entered were part of a complex network underneath the Owl Mountains. At the time, it was part of Germany, but it's now part of Poland after the borders were moved in the post war settlement. The network of tunnels were actually a secret project known as Ries, which is the German word for giant. The Nazis never finished this project, but it seems like a pretty good place to hide some buried treasure if you ask me. Two explorers, Andreas Richter and Peter Koper, are the ones credited with finding the spot. They claim to have found it using radar equipment last year in the city of Walbridge. When news broke of the possible discovery, a gold rush was ignited, bringing people from all across Europe together to try and find the legendary train. Even a government official said that he was 99% sure that the train was there, which made the search even into more of a frenzy. This whole fiasco has done wonders for the local tourism industry, and there was also a financial boost to the coal mining region of Silesia. After the fall of communism, the region of Silesia struggled as many of the mines were closed for being unprofitable. Despite the gold rush, geological experts went in there with their magnetic equipment and found no train on the spot. However, a spokesperson for the search team, Andre Geig, said that there are actually six independent companies scanning the railroad tracks that have detected an underground tunnel on an elevated area running along the tracks. He says that the results of the scans are quote very promising. Now even though people are really stoked on this treasure train, if they actually find it, they aren't allowed to keep what's inside it. Last year when the rush was at its height and people were going crazy trying to find this train, the World Jewish Congress reminded Polish authorities that if they did find the train, any valuables belonging to the Jews killed in the Holocaust must be returned to their rightful owners or their heirs. Aw oh, man. So how did all these crazy rumors of a treasure train start? Well the legend comes from a retired miner, Tadu Slowikowski, who spoke to a German man in the 1970s. The man said that in the spring of 1945, as the Soviet army approached, the train disappeared before ever making it to its destination city of Waldenburg. A local historian said that it's unlikely that this treasure train would have been on its way anywhere, especially a city like Waldenburg, because the Soviet army would find it there. And also, no documentation of the train has ever been found, and if you know Nazis, you know they documented everything. Documents for the Third Reich existed even for the most top secret of projects, including a project of underground tunnels beneath the Kasia castle in Waldenburg, which is now Walbridge. So does a Nazi treasure train exist? I think it's safe to say that it probably doesn't. But hey, it's a pretty cool story, isn't it? Okay guys, that is all for this segment of IO. I hope you learned something. I definitely did. Make sure you check us out on our other channel, IO Trends, for everything in entertainment. You should also check out IO on social media. We've got Instagram, we've got Facebook, we've got Twitter. We love it when you guys get involved. You should also follow me on Instagram at Charlie Chaplin and maybe click one of these two videos over here to keep watching IO. Bye bye.